Peace y'all, welcome back to the channel, it's shot by Kurt. Today's video, I just wanna to talk to y'all real quick about this light that I picked up, the Nanlite Forza 60, but more importantly, this accessory here that I picked up. And I think that this is gonna be a game changer for run and gun filmmakers. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thanks for being subscribed. But if you're going to like the video, definitely drop it a like as it helps out the channel. But we're going to get straight into it. So first off, we're going to talk about this right here. The Nanlite Forza 60. And as you can see, it's super small. And just for comparison's sake, it's just as big as my iPhone pretty much the same size so I mean the light is a 60 watt light it's actually super bright um, considering that it's a 60 watt light it does have a feature that you can turn off the phone I mean turn off the phone it has a feature that you can turn off the fan but you do lose a little bit of brightness when you do that but I mean nobody's gonna be using that at 100% power anyway at least you shouldn't need to um, I find that I can do a talking head just for myself and use maybe 10-20% at max. So you definitely shouldn't need 100% but it does dim a bit when you turn the fan off. If you turn the fan on, um, it's not all that loud. Actually it's not really loud at all especially like talking head. Um, at least from my experience it hasn't been that loud so we have the light comes with a reflector what they did do was separate the power and that's why the body is so small so the power brick comes separate you have the plug and then the separate plug that goes into the wall plug these two together you already know how that goes then of course you get the case so it comes with a nice carrying case. You don't have to pay extra to get a carrying case, which is super convenient. At least I think so. It seems like um, lights that come with cases is reserved for like more higher end lights and being that this light comes in at 289, pretty much 300 bucks and it comes with a case. That's super dope. Now what I was, what even made me purchase this light and what made me the most excited about it is being that I do a lot of running gun stuff so I picked up this. Now this here is pretty much, um, it's a battery mount, but it's also, you can see it has the handle here. So you put, you can put two Sony batteries on it. And it says that if you use the 750s, the MPF 750 batteries, that you can get up to one hour runtime at 100% brightness. So you can get, Obviously that time will vary some. So like I was saying, you can put two Sony MPF batteries on here. What they have listed is if you use the MPF 750s, you use two of them, you get one hour runtime at 100% brightness. So obviously that time can vary if you use um, if you use the light at a lower brightness or maybe if you use the 970s you might be able to get a little bit more than an hour but what they have listed is the 750s the 750s both powered at 100 percent you can get 100 you can get one hour one run time you can get one hour run time out of two 750s on this mount and this is in a run and gun situation so you don't have to carry around light stands you don't have to worry about the hassle of trying to find a plug or if you're shooting out in the street not having a plug you can just carry a bunch of the sony batteries around with this mount so then this is what it looks like together you have the mount and like i said plug this right back here I don't have the batteries on. My batteries are actually charging right now because I have a shoot later on that I'm gonna need them for. So I couldn't, well, didn't put the batteries on here. But um, 
after that shoot, I actually plan on getting some behind the scenes because I actually want to use the light. I just picked up the light yesterday, so I do plan on using the light for the shoot. It's actually going to be a nighttime shoot, so this will be a perfect example of why I think it'll be super clutch for running gun filmmakers, especially if you're on a budget. Right now, this light is being compared to the 120D and the Godox um, SL60W, I think it's called but you know these are like the three lights that are being compared together um the godox come in at 134 the aperture come in at 750 and then this one being kind of like right in the middle at 289 or 300 dollars and then the mount the battery mount does not come with this it's actually an extra 50 bucks so you're looking at about three almost Four hundred dollars, three hundred. It was like three hundred and seventy, but just say closer to four hundred dollars. So four hundred dollars, you get the battery mount. You can go on, um, you know, shoot on the go, run and gun style. So the one downside is it has a mini Bowens and not the regular Bowens mount. They do have an extra accessory that you can get to make it a full Bowens, but I did not pick that up. I probably will pick it up down the line, but right now I didn't pick it up. So what I'm gonna end up doing is getting. Nanlite's softbox that actually goes to the light directly and then maybe down the line I'll pick up the full Bowens mount and you know buy other you know accessories soft boxes or whatever the case but that was one of the downsides it's not it doesn't have the universal mount so you have to buy Nanlite's um, mini Bowen or whatever it's called Outside of that, I mean, I haven't really got a chance to use the light as much as I would like, but um, like I said, I just picked it up yesterday, but I do have um, a couple shoots between tonight and um, just over the weekend, so definitely look forward to using it and then coming back and letting y'all know what I think about it. So that's going to do it for today's video. Just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about this light, and I'm actually kind of stoked because it's my first, like, real professional light, I guess, because I have, you know, a couple of Aperture MCs and, like, this other tube light or whatever, but this will be, like, my first professional light, so I was excited, thought I'd come do a video real quick. Anyway, if you liked the video, drop me a like, consider hitting subscribe, especially if you want to know more about this light from my perspective, and I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. Y'all stay creative. Peace.